This one's not actually Hyperland specific, but there's something really cool that you can do if you're on Arch Linux and you use the AOR a lot. So basically, let's say that you try to install an AOR application and you want to get something like Brave browser, for example. Okay, so let's just look for Brave. And this S command, by the way, that's an alias, which stands for yay-ss. So just look for the repositories. Okay, and you see Brave bin over here. Now ignore this part, I will be discussing it later, but here you see Brave bin. Now you're going to have to install it with an AOR helper and whatnot. And it's basically, you know, a pain having to compile the thing and then, you know, and then having to use it like a normal app. Basically, this involves compilation, which is not fun. Instead, you probably want to download and use the Brave browser just like it were something like Firefox. So if I look for Firefox over here, okay, we are going to find, if this thing loads, that Firefox is actually installable with one simple command, which is yay-s Firefox. Okay, we can install it pretty simple using just one command without having to compile anything because this is a, you know, pre-made binary. Now, what I'm getting at with this is, there is a certain, you know, feature that we can add on to Arch Linux, which allows us to install AOR applications without having to compile them. Okay, now if you read the commands, or rather the output that came after the part that I showed you, okay, you would have read something like chaotic AOR. So let's just show you that again. Okay, you see chaotic AOR over here, right? Now, let me show you what that is. So if we go to aor.chaotic.cx, yes, I really memorized that URL. Do not ask me how. I've been here lots of times, that's how. Anyway, now the chaotic AOR, we're just gonna, yeah. It's an automated building repo for AOR packages. So what they do is they basically build AOR packages for you so you don't have to, you know, sit there, compile everything and deal with all of AOR headache that you usually have to. Okay, so let's just get started. Click on start right away. You'll click here. And these are all the steps that we have to do to get started quickly. Now, because I believe in value per second and not seconds of value i'll just show you how to set this up so that you can you know basically get started with installing aor apps without compiling everything yourself great so first we start by retrieving the primary key to enable the installation of their keyring and mirror list so we run these commands just copy this okay and then paste it over here it's going to yeah it's going to get you these two commands we're just going to enter type in the password Okay, that's done. This is not changed. It might say something like that because I've already installed this, no problem. Now this allows them, you know, allows us to install their chaotic ring and chaotic mirror list packages. So what we're doing with this sudo pacman-u command is we are basically installing this .pkg.tar.zst file. Now if we look for pacman's manual file and then we look for a dash capital U, okay, we should find Okay, it says upgrade over here, but in this context, we're basically using it to get these two packages onto our system. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this, paste that in over here, hit enter. I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Then we append, which means adding at the end, to the following in etsy pacman.conf. Now, if we go over to etsy pacman.conf, okay, and then we just prepend this with sudo, now append means adding at the end and prepend of course means putting before so just hit enter and let's go all the way to the end and we should see chaotic aor already added so just copy this and paste it over here we're just including etsy pacman.d chaotic mirror list now what's this mirror list file and what's it actually doing here now this mirror list file is just going to contain a list of mirrors as you could probably tell so let me cat that out so you can see what it's all about etsy pacman.d chaotic mirror list Okay, so if we cat that out, these are all the different mirrors that we're going to use to install AOR packages without having to compile stuff. So we have Korea, Spain, the United States, we have Utah, New York, and all the other stuff. We have India, Greece, France, Germany, Chile, Canada. We, have, we basically have a lot of countries over here. Okay, now that's it for the chaotic mirror list. We can also show you what the normal mirror list looks like. It's basically the same thing, except... We just have a bunch of mirrors, as you can see over here. We have a bunch of mirrors. If you have configured yourself, 
to be the closest to you so that you can, you know, install packages really quickly without having to wait for quite a while. So I generated this Arch Linux mirror list using reflector. This was the command that was used. And if you want to, you know, get a mirror list that allows you to download packages extremely quickly without having to spend lots of time using other servers that are not close to your home, then you can install this one tool called reflector simple. If we look up reflector simple, it should be a command, right? Reflector simple, as you can see, it's on the chaotic AOR. So we can just install it with yay-s reflector simple, which allows us to get this, you know, app. So if we look for reflector, probably takes a second to open. So we'll just let that open. Yeah, here it is. Now you're just going to first pick the countries where you want mirrors from. So I'm going to pick worldwide India and pick those two. Next, feature selection. You include HTTPS mirrors because you want secure mirrors only. You don't want, you know, mirrors that are most likely to mess you up. Okay, you sort by the download rate. So you get the mirror that's the fastest to be the first one. Max number of freshest mirrors. You only want 10 mirrors over here. Download timeout in seconds. So let's say you're trying to download something from the server. If you know it doesn't return what you want to download in five seconds, then you're just going to quit it and then go on to the next mirror in terms of saving it. And then you have optional reflector parameters if you want to add any, which you can get with reflector dash dash help. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff that we can add. So we can change the file path if we want to save it somewhere else for whatever reason, maybe to audit it and then shift it over to etsy pacman.d slash mirror list there is a lot of stuff that we can do we can pick an age we can delay lots of stuff right but for our use case this is going to be simple enough now if we hit okay it's going to give you this log and it should ask you for a password and if it doesn't it's probably good with that okay it's done it probably crashed so it quit without you know giving you okay here it is this is what the file can look like. We can just click on save to etsy pacman.d slash mirror list. If you click on that, it's going to ask you for this password box. You can just type in your password and hit authenticate. Now, by the way, if you don't know what that password box was all about, it's basically a box required for privilege escalation. So what privilege escalation is, you're going to have to sometimes execute commands on your computer that require root privileges, right? Running a command with sudo, for example. Now, if you don't run the command with sudo, it's just not going to let you do stuff. So if I run pacman s something like C matrix, just to show you, it says error, you cannot perform this operation unless you are root. Okay, now that's where that password box came in handy. Now, if that password box feature wasn't implemented, like in my Hyperland system, if I hadn't gone through the trouble of implementing it, it probably would have failed. Reflector simple would have failed and it wouldn't have given me the output and the result that I would have wanted which is why I teach you exactly how to create password boxes like that and set it up properly so you don't have to go through that yourself, along with creating theme switchers that can basically turn your setup into a much nicer machine to work at. As you can see over here, this looks pretty cool. Okay, I just switched to a theme that doesn't work. How ironic. Anyway, this is a theme that works, right? <laughs> It makes your computer look pretty cool, all without having to spend months and months looking for everything yourself. So just click the first link in the description and check it out. Trust me when I say it, it's going to be the best investment that you will have ever made when it comes to stuff like this. Like the amount of time that you can save by just going to the link in the description and just clicking it and checking it out is insane. Of course, it's only if you value your time. If you don't care, if you don't care about your time. If you don't care about spending hours and hours and months and days and weeks. Just looking through everything yourself, of course, go ahead. You know, more power to you. But if you want to save your time and if you like saving time, just click the first link in the description and check it out. Okay, next, after that, we just run a full system update with this. sudo pacman syu. For that, I have set up a command called u. Okay, u is just going to update. So that's going to run yay syu. You just type that command in and then you can use it as normal. So if I show you the Brave browser example again, it's going to let me install Brave, Brave dash bin through the chaotic AOR without having to compile anything. And that should pretty much be it. Hopefully you enjoyed. 
if you got value from this i'd really like it if you can you know subscribe so that you can see more videos like this in your feed like share comment you know do the stuff to boost the algorithm and i will see you next time